I know some of you had some growth experience that will stay with you and go on. But I would like to give some more general ideas how to work on yourself and on others. And to do this, we have to talk a little bit more about the projection material. That most of the alienated part of us is projected, either in the dreams, if you've seen plenty of different people, or the world. Now, very many people suffer from self-consciousness. Anyone here? <laughs> okay, will you come forward? I felt very tall when I walked across the room. And I feel self-conscious about, th about that. Okay. I Take that seat. Play the audience. <sighs> you are very big. Um, you're a bit awkward, actually. Um, Change it. Now, watch this. Has anybody noticed when she went up that she was very big? Mm -hmm. Not a single person. Isn't that amazing? It's just that when you stand up and everybody's sitting down, it felt like being in Lilliput land. Huh? It felt like being in Lilliput land. Ah, that's different now. Now get up. Now you're the giant and look at us, Lilliputian. <laughs> <laughs> Hello down there. <laughs> Don't be afraid of me. You still feel self-conscious? Um, I feel like I'm holding in. Where? What? Here. Mm -hmm. I, feel, I feel like I'm quite powerful, but I'm not allowing it to come out. Okay. Take the seat. Don't, make, don't let your power come out. Um, what am I to do? Tell, don't. Don't let your power come out. Don't let your power come out. Give her, give her the works. Uh, am I to be the power? The, I'm just the audience? Let's call it your, your inhibition. Your, your, your don't. I won't let your power come out. Uh, listen to me, because I'm actually protecting you. What will they think if they know what you think about yourself? afraid of me. Now, can you change they into you and talk to say this to the audience? You might be afraid of me. Again. You might be afraid of me. Again. You might be afraid of me. Now stand up. Stand up again and say the same sentence as the giant. You would be afraid of me. You might not be afraid of me. You might, uh, 
you might think that that's a silly idea. You might laugh at me. Okay. Laugh it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan of her. You foolish girl. Why can't you just be what you are? Okay, stand up and say this to us. Make fun of us. Tell us how foolish we are. Hey. You are all quite foolish, but I, I wouldn't tell you that. I wouldn't hurt you by Do telling you again. that. I wouldn't hurt you by telling you that. Do the reverse, hurt them, put they, them, in the chair and hurt them. Make them cry. You fools. Here, looking for answers, daring to think that there are answers. You all look so silly. You're not going to find out anything this way. I would like you to put phone in us in that chair and talk to phone in us. Phone in us is sitting in that chair. Phone in us, phone in us. I have to feel out that word, feeling. Phoniness, you're going to tell us where it's all at. You know. You know that we don't know, that we only know fragments, that we know about crying, smiling, that we know about certain facets of ourselves. But you know everything. Play phoniness. Well, it's those little phony games that I'm going to play with all your heads. But they just might mean something. It's up to you. I may be phony, but I want you to realize that you're phony. And perhaps, hmm, I'm being phony myself. But, because actually, I don't feel, yeah, I feel, a lot of tension. I like to withdraw myself. 
phoniness is going through the drawing of the great self. <coughs> phoniness, I feel a lot of shaking inside. Your whole gut is shaking. You think this shaking is phony? No, for phoniness, it's real. That's what I am right now, is phoniness. So, if I'm going to be phoniness, then I feel really strong. <coughs> yeah. Now, wait a moment, phoniness. I want to make you real, because your support is in your shaking. Mm -hmm. Can you dance your shakiness? Yeah. A little bit of it. <coughs> yeah, a little bit. So go back, talk to phone in this once more. I've lost contact with you, phoniness. I like to feel myself. I feel my heart beating. I don't see, I see a stool. I feel a pain in my feet from having jumped up. That's a real feeling. And I see people in the room, garden, and yourself. You. What's happened to your smirk? <laughs> That's big. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, some smiling may be possible, isn't it? Okay. Uh, you know, it's beautiful other polarity, phoniness be nervous, being real, authentic. Now, let's finish up by putting your smirk in that chair. Talk to your smirk. Smirk, I don't like you, but you had crooked teeth behind that. And when they were fixed, you tried to, you tried to smile. I'd rather see you than what you had before. It was a snarl. Fucking Germans. Those it's a pig. Hey, 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 hey. Five and a half years old. No, it's, I don't believe it. I don't want to go back there. Before you go back, come back to us first. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. Are you real? really see me? Yeah, I see you. You see the, where you are in actual time? Yeah, I think so. Okay, now close your eyes. You are five and a half years ago. What do you encounter there? We're 30 kilometers from Warsaw. They're burning it. They're partisans. There's a fat SS man. He's 
He's got a big, ready face. He lifts me on his shoulders. No. No, you're not gonna... Oh. What you actually see, keep your eyes closed. Now, this is very, very important now. Listen to me. Do not try to remember. Just be five and a half years of age and tell me what you see, feel, and hear. I'm five and a half. <laughs> I'm in a garden. Playing with a friend. They're all around. The partisans rob us. The Germans. Do you see it? Yeah, I see them. They're, what do you see? There's three of them. They're coming to the house. It's a big mansion. I've got to... I want to go in and, and warn everybody. Oh, I know. You're not going to make me go back there. Sorry. That's it. Oh. Say this to me. No, that's like... I'm in Canada, man. <laughs> That's it. No. You want to preserve that memory. What do you need this memory for? To beat myself over the head with. Whom else do you want to beat over the head with? Everybody. I think I just did it. Come back to us, okay? If I seem hostile to you, it's there. And there's a lot of hatred. There's a lot of hatred for every one of you. But maybe there's there's a lot of love too. Not much, but there is some. Okay. Close your eyes, go back again, take the time machine again and be a child again. which is about 30 kilometers from Warsaw. It's, I'm in this corridor. There's an old man at the end of this corridor. He is painting. No one can approach him. <laughs> You're the old man, Fritz. Look at me. Am I the old man? No. <laughs> Uh, put the old man in the chair and compare him with me. What are the similarities? What are the differences? Similarity is that you, old man, when I was five and a half, you are at the end of the hall and I am approaching you. And Fritz, you seem to be at an end of avenue of people, and I so I also am approaching you. You have gray hair, and he has gray hair. You're a painter, and you paint with everything you do. You're a, a sculptor of people, an artist, and he's an artist. And how are we different? You speak. He never spoke a word. Say this to him now. You never spoke a word. But you were also different because you painted. And that's when I started drawing. You taught me how to draw. And I guess you're teaching me something too. <laughs> They're two different people. Can you realize this now? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now go back to the Germans, to the unpleasantness. No. What's your objection? I object. Yeah, what's your objection? 
That happened uh, a long time ago. You're still carrying it with you. you I'll carry it for a long time, probably. Yeah. Can you talk to that memory once more? Say, memory, I won't let you go. I hug you on my bosom, carry you with me day and night. Memory, I'm going to carry you in my bosom day and night. No, that's not true. No, I guess it. I'm retreating into phoniness, perhaps. Chase it in the memory. Merrick, you cannot get rid of me. I am you. You like me. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel better than everybody else. You suffered, kid. So I'm gonna stay with you. Everybody else had it soft. And you know that's wrong. said, memory and pride were fighting. Memory said it was like that, and pride said it couldn't have been. And memory gave it. You see, we treat the memory as something belonging to the now. Whether the memory is true or distorted, we still keep it, we don't assimilate it, we keep it as a battleground or justification for something. We really, really don't need it. 